Good morning, good evening, wherever you are, whatever it is, morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are when you find yourself to this video. Um, I just wanted to give a little bit of um, a tip or a hint or an update on this new moon in Virgo, which is big, it's powerful. Um, what we are moving through and what we are meant to discover and learn about ourselves. And this is just one small aspect, but I not small, it's a big aspect that I think a lot of the other planetary alignments and, and systems, especially Pluto, um, are assisting us with at this time. So this moon is in an opposition, the moon and the sun are in an opposition to Neptune in Pisces. So if you do know your chart or you know where Pisces, what house Pisces falls in your chart, this will be a little bit more helpful for you to kind of dive deeper into what your ego or your mind may be kind of pushing aside because these are about old belief systems that we've developed from our own pain and trauma. So to give an example, and if you don't know your chart, that's fine too. Look at what you are, um, what feels like is opposing you right now or causing you a setback um, or stress or, um, yes, a setback, stress, and try to dig deeper into that because most likely there is a thought system, a belief system in play that needs to be opposite. <laughs> of what it is for you to move forward or to understand what the lesson is for you. So for me, um, my Pisces house is um, about my service and what I am putting out and what I am here to um, help serve others. And um, what holds me back back that not really holding me back but um what has caused me frustration in that has been um separation what the what i notice in separation and specifically we'll go into finances we'll say the elite versus the the poor and how that division alone causes me great angst, um, and an opinion, a judgment, instead of seeing um, us all as equal, understanding that that separation has been created way, 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 way back when money was first developed. Uh, money is not the issue. Money is actually um, a, a genius idea, but um, the way that it has been used for power and control and uh, we have to realize, now this is just for me, I have to realize that those that have the elite, that have a lot of money, view the poor as um, lazy, um, get a job, do what it is that you need to do to get to where I am, where the poor view the elite or the rich as being greedy. Um, there's this divide, this separation. And sure, it does play out in the world in many different scenarios. And I've actually been in both categories, not with those strong opinions, but have seen, witnessed, and lived through both categories enough to have this feeling of, divide and separation that alone for me and this is a big breakthrough for me has caused me a setback in what i am to be doing and serving in this world because my service is to see all as equal and to not partake in the separation that has been created by mankind for a very long time um, it takes a lot of um, breaking through the ego, breaking through old past pain and patterns and opinions and judgments to get to this place. But when I break through and I see that I don't need to participate in that separation, I can be straight in the middle and see both, both see it all and um, help balance help uh, understand that everybody is on their own journey 
and they're going to have their own opinions and judgments but I don't have to partake in that for myself, even if it's subconscious, because at this point it is subconscious. I'm very well aware of the duality there and the separation, but there had been a part of me that still wanted to maybe protest or point, you know, like, hey, but I need to strip that away. So put that in perspective for yourself and your life. What is it in your life that, um, you have strong conviction about or strong judgment or opinion about and dive deeper. Is this causing you to have um, division and separation from source, from the all that is? This is deep, so I'm not going to reach everybody, I understand. <laughs> but I'm hoping that I reach some of you who are really at the precipice of like, what? what is it? What is being, there's like an itch that you can't scratch kind of thing. And this energy we, today is the day before the new moon. So we're in the dark moon cycle. So we've got three days of this deep, deep dive into our Pisces house, into our Pisces energy and to swim through that duality and find a middle ground for ourselves so that we can elevate ourselves out of whatever has been um, keeping us in a holding pattern or keeping us blocked or keeping us stuck or keeping us frustrated um, or even worse because know that um, in this cycle there are going to be those that are going to be hypnotized and spiraling into more and more of their darkness for them to learn and understand and there are going to be more and more that are going to be elevating and lifting out of their darkness to enlightenment and to realization and there's a there's a division right there we don't need to divide we just need to understand that there are there's duality i'm using my hands because there's duality we don't need to cause more separation than there already is the point for me personally is to create a space where um there is unity unity regardless so I hope that, that this is helpful for some of you. I know that this is just sort of another mini breakthrough for myself. And I always like to share these things with all of you. It is deep and your ego will fight it. Your ego will say, no, that, but look at where your strong opinions, your strong judgments, your strong, um, I know I'm right. And this could even have to do with your, the, your health, your spirituality, um, we're being asked to expand const constantly, expand and rip away anything that we think we know or our belief systems and just be in the unknown right now. Be in the unknown and be open to being wrong. Be open to being expanded and to be, um, well, uh, Uranus is in this mix to be awakened. So much love to all of you.